Let's talk about planning. Do you start your day and your week with a clear personal plan? With all of my one-to-one -one clients, we always start the call with how the previous week has gone. And without fail, they always have the more successful weeks when they've had a clear plan and they've prepared everything the week before. Whether it's a to-do list for the day or for the week, we all do better with a plan. And you are amazing at this when it comes to your career, right? So whether it's your business or your career, you plan your meeting agendas, you know your numbers and you plan your financial targets and you always know exactly where you're up to. You plan everything. You plan your updates with your boss or your business partner or your employees. And you would absolutely plan if you were delivering a talk or a presentation, as would I. You plan all of these things, even if they're not new to you. You are really new to this health and fitness thing. So there's no use beating yourself up about it, especially if you've had a really bad week and especially if you haven't even planned it. You're basically setting yourself up to fail if you're not gonna plan. And we're not talking about a vague plan here. We need to really get into the details. So let's take a holiday, for example. Your vague plan is, I want to go on holiday. And the details are then, firstly, make it realistic. So do you have the time to go on holiday? Do you have the money to go on holiday? Do you have the holidays from work to be able to go on holiday? If the answer is yes, obviously move on. So then you need to decide your specific destination. You need to decide who you're going with. You need to decide when you're going, what's the weather gonna be like? When are the school holidays, either to avoid or to not avoid depending on whether you've got kids and you, then you need to book your flights hotel but buy your holiday clothes buy your suitcase etc etc all of these things that's getting into the details of your big goal which was going on holiday with us we're obviously focusing as usual on three different elements food fitness and focus so each need planning in a careful way Starting with your food. We often really struggle to find time for food prepping. So you don't know what you're gonna eat and when. And this leaves you probably often absolutely starving, probably dehydrated, leading to poor food choices. And especially if you're out and about, then you, you are going to just grab the most convenient option at the time. And the only way around this is to prepare. I want you to make sure that each week you have regular scheduled food shops, whether it's online or whether it's time for you to actually physically go shopping. If it's weekly or if it's a daily either way is cool just make sure that it's planned in or you will find it really really tough to keep on track with your progress the second layer to food planning is when are you going to make the bulk of your meals so is it every night when you get in that you make your meals for the next day then that's cool or is it on a sunday when you make everything for the whole week that's cool. Is it in the morning before work? Also cool, just get it planned in and make sure that there's time for it. Then we have your fitness. So again, often there's no time to plan in exercise, so it just gets missed. It falls right down to the bottom of the priority list and pushed off as soon as something else gets put on the top. You think that you don't have time for it, but what about the 10 minutes you're spending in the morning on Instagram before you get out of bed? Or what about the 30 minutes of TV that you're watching when you get in from work? And I know that I'm being super conservative with those numbers there because you know it's probably more like triple that amount. And I know that there are times when your whole day is consumed by work, but I'm just gonna guess that unless Theresa May's in here, then it's not every day, seven days a week. And other than that, you probably can fit in that workout. As someone who used to work 100 hours a week on a regular basis and still managed to hit my body goals, I am telling you that with planning, it is possible. Especially as many of you have home workouts. So like I've said to you many times in the Facebook group, if you only even have time for half the workout, just get it done. If you only have time for 10 minutes, just get it done. Get something done and that is possible. And for those of you who are still working out 100 hours a week, yes, that is about a 14 hour day, seven days a week. Not that fun. Anyway, focus wise. So you vaguely know your health and body goals such as I want to lose weight, but you haven't planned specifically how you're gonna get there. So remember the holiday example that I said earlier, you need to know, is this goal realistic in the first place? Yeah, we've got that, we've, we've done goal setting, so cool, it's realistic. What should I be eating? You know this is all in your original email and you're tracking it in MyFitnessPal. So now you need to fit this into your week and prep it. How often should I be training? Yep, you know all this. Again, it's in your Trainerize app, whether you're doing your workouts at home, in the park, in the gym, then you need to actually put those sessions into your diary. So make sure that they are appointments in your diary. And then finally, what should I be focusing on? Yep, you're also working on this through the focus section within Food Fitness Focus. So everything, if you go through it and plan it, is covered. Finally, regarding focus, me time. So this is your positively selfish time. And I wanna know, 
think back to last week and what did you do that was actually just for you? What did you do that you enjoy, that you wanted to do? For example, did you sit and listen to a podcast, read a book, go shopping, have a massage? This is really, really important as well to make sure that you're in the right mindset to hit all your goals. If there's no plan for food, fitness and focus, then there will be the same amount of success for your health and body goals as if you went into a meeting unprepared. And if you've never actually done that, I'll just tell you, you look like an absolute moron and you don't get a very good outcome. So trust me, the same will come out of this program if you don't plan to succeed. After this video now, I want you to get your diary out and plan in actual diary entries of food shop, food prep, exercise, and one thing that is for you that is that positively selfish time. These are now non-movable appointments. You cannot cancel on yourself, just like you wouldn't cancel on your boss or your business partner. You are more important than your boss. And this is the first step to treating yourself as more of a priority, because you are a priority. And this isn't just a one week thing either. This isn't just you do it this week and then you move on to whatever else we're discussing next week. This needs to become a habit ingrained and I want you to repeat this every single week. So every week you're planning in your food, every week you're planning in your fitness as a non-movable appointment, and every week you're focusing and planning in that positively selfish time. 